Hello, and welcome back to Simply Simming Forever. If you enjoy any of the content you see today and would like to see more, please like, subscribe, or comment in below. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Today's video is a quick comparison of the calendars. The season's only version, base game update that came out July 20th, and the calendar with all the expansion packs and base game included. Starting off with the season's only version, it lists events, seasons, holidays, weather, work, slash school schedules, and birthdays. You can plan events, both gold and ungold, from various different types of events, depending on what adventure packs you have. You can include everything that you need, all the details, all the guests, and you can also select the date, time, and location. It can be on a residential lot or a commercial lot, planned up to two weeks in advance. In addition to planning events, there are also holidays. The game did come with some pre-made holidays like Harvest Fest and Rebate Day. The holidays can also be added and you get to choose from the themes, choose if it comes with the day off or not, and choose up to five traditions. Simmers can also edit any existing holidays or delete any holidays depending on their style of gameplay. This is how the calendar worked before the base game update if you have the Seasons Expansion Pack that came out in June of 2018. Uh, base game update came out on July 20th, two days before the Cottage Living Expansion Pack release, and the calendar has changed. Visually, you'll see that the calendar seems brighter and has more icons and more things going on. Festivals from Mount Cormoribi and San Machino are now visible on the calendar. Events and festivals can be favorited. The festival flyers have now been embedded into the calendar, so you can read the description and even travel directly to the event from the calendar. This is very helpful if there are multiple events in the same day, if you want to choose which one to go to. The calendar can also be filtered by various tags, including holidays, events, vacations, birthdays, work and school. You cannot plan vacations in advance to my knowledge, so I'm not sure why that's a filter, um, but it is there. Also for Sims who have birthdays, they have now a bigger icon on the calendar with a portrait included on the day of their birthday. This is somewhat of a quality of life increase if you already own Seasons, and this is a great opportunity for those who do not own Seasons to have a calendar to better organize everything going on in-game. It can be a little bit hectic. After Cottage Living was released on July 22nd, Henford on Bagley events are now on the calendar. So when it comes to those specific festivals, you can also read the flyers, see a description of what's going on, and travel to that location once the festival begins. All the events are on Saturdays, every week, 3.30 to 9.30 p.m., with rotating themes of garden, oversized crops, chicken, and cow events. This gives you time to prepare in advance if you want to participate or be ready to attend. I'm going to wrap this video up here. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Did you have seasons before the base game update? If so, how do you feel about them including the calendar as a free base game update? Thank you so much for watching. 